time of day. The general store on 24 is located on Route 24 in Lewis. Headlines, headlines you can't get through your day without. Oh, Power 1017. I see all the pizza places advertising. Mm-hmm. Get ready. Biggest pizza day of the year coming up on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. 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 All over social media. Of course. You know, everybody orders pizza because they're getting yeah. ready to cook on Thursday. Yeah. So You do a game night, have pizza, wings, all of it. Big takeout day. Yes. So. We're ready. Jess, uh, a lot of headlines going on this morning. What you got? All right. Some serious news here with this Wisconsin parade crash. So sad and tragic. Questions are now being raised about why the suspect in this Christmas parade crash on Sunday was out on bail. Daryl Brooks Jr. was free on a $1,000 bail that had been posted just two days earlier. And one of the pending cases against him did involve an alleged 39-year-old intentionally hitting a woman with his car after a fight earlier this month. Reportedly, it's the mother of his child. On Monday, Milwaukee County prosecutors called their bail recommendations inappropriately low and said that they would review it. Police said yesterday that Brooks had been leaving the scene of a domestic dispute when he plowed through the parade route, killing five people Mm. and injuring 48 others. He has a long criminal history. He has two outstanding cases against him at the time of Sunday's parade crash. At least nine people, most of them children, remain hospitalized and in critical condition on Monday, and seven others were in serious condition. Three of those killed were members of the Dancing Grannies Club who were participating in the parade. So sad. Very sad. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody. Absolutely. Also, attorneys delivered their closing arguments yesterday in the Georgia murder trial of three white men charged in the death of Ahmad Arbery, a 25-year-old black man who was running through their neighborhood. Defense attorneys presented it as a case of self-defense, saying that Arbery ran towards and punched Travis McMichael and grabbed for McMichael's shotgun after he and his father, Greg McMichael, and neighbor, William Roddy Bryan, chased him down in their pickup trucks in February of 2020. Right there, that's where you lose me. This is sad. Chased him down. Yeah. In their pickup truck. Mm -hmm. For what? Are you the police? What's going on here? I feel that that he feared for his life. Yeah. (laughs) You got these guys coming after you in a pickup truck with guns? Are you kidding? That's why he's like running towards one side, running around, and then, yeah, of course, he does grab That that weapon. He's trying to like... He's fearing for his life is how I look at the video. And I've watched it over and over and over. And she, she really has, y'all. I came in here yesterday in the studio and Jess is in here watching. But I like, want to see all the details because I've been following the trial and listening to what they're saying on both sides. And they're trying to say it was a citizen's arrest and they have this. Yeah, all right. Well, that right there, too. Hold on a the minute. The law up there, like this whole definition of what a citizen's arrest is. And that's what they're saying, that it was self-defense. Is this is this real and life? A citizen's parents, arrest? I thought That's like an old gag. That's like that, that old his gag. His parents are there in court and they're listening to all this. A they citizen's got arrest? Yesterday and walked out. They had to walk out. They could just not take it anymore what they're saying in court it's crazy i remember like when we were younger like we used to like and apparently that that used to be like a joke like citizens arrest i know but it is a thing it is a thing but not not now not to 2021 it's a law stop you don't get in pickup trucks and have these weapons and somebody's in the back of the bed someone else is recording someone no no that's not just unbelievable this whole thing is just no Wow. Yeah. So um, the prosecutor said that the defendants had no evidence Arbery committed any crimes, but assumed that he had burglarized this home that was under construction. Security cameras at the home didn't show Arbery stealing or damaging anything. Closing arguments will be completed today with prosecuting prosecution getting the final rebuttal. So... Gosh. Crazy. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, we'll definitely be following the story. Also, uh, Cuomo. There's yeah. an investigation. And I heard about this. report has been released. And yesterday it found, quote, overwhelming evidence that former Governor Andrew Cuomo sexually harassed women and ordered state workers to help uh, produce his pandemic leadership book for what he got a $5.2 million deal during work hours. Additionally, his staff were found to have substantially revised a state health department report on COVID-19 deaths in nursing homes to leave out data that would have hurt his reputation as a leader during the pandemic. The state assembly's committee commissioned a law firm to conduct the probe. 
Cuomo's spokesperson says that in response, that senior staff who helped with the book did so on their personal time. Additionally, they're also saying that these sexual harassment claims that the assembly had relied too much on information gathered during what he called a political biased investigation overseen by Attorney General Latia James and Cuomo resigned in August to avoid likely impeachment. All right, so now the investigation has found overwhelming evidence of his misconduct. Okay. First Lady Jill Biden received delivery of the official White House Christmas tree yesterday. The 18 and a half foot Fraser fur was delivered by a wagon drawn by the Clydesdale horses, presented by father and son Rusty and Bo Estes of Peak Farms in North Carolina, who won the National Christmas Tree Association's annual contest. That's how they deliver our tree. On hand for the arrival. They, they of bring course. it in with the carriage and the Clydesdales. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Right to our, right to our front yard. The snowball stand. They yeah. deliver it that way. With the Clydesdales. I know. Yeah. Biden's son Hunter was there, his <laughs> wife Melissa, their son. Uh, their toddler, Bo, and then, of course, First Lady President Biden's uh, wife, Jill, she joined in as well. Uh, they are going to be celebrating a Friendsgiving with service members and military families. And the first couple helped serve the meal. And then the Bidens will be celebrating Thanksgiving on Nantucket with their family. This is a tradition that they do, and they're going to continue with that tradition. Okay? Okay. Um, locally here, Mount Air Farm packs. 26K food boxes yes. for the Thanksgiving for Thousands event. And the Voice wonderful. Radio Network, we were out there yeah, yesterday. we were. This is great. So yesterday morning, about 150 volunteers got busy packing boxes with holiday meals for those in need. We've been able to have a more normal event except for having to wear face masks. But even with that, we're going to break our records, Nice, said the president of Mount Air Farms, Philip Plyer. So, again, the distribution will happen in Bridgeville, Georgetown, Laurel, Milford, and Seaford, uh, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, the addresses, we will post them on our website. But, again, Bridgeville, Georgetown, Laurel, Milford, and Seaford. Okay. okay. So, that's a good look right there. And then the holidays, are you being hit with inflation? The shoppers are feeling the hit at the grocery store. Uh, I know right? that's so right. The prices are up, but experts say that people will still continue to travel. They're going to buy, and they are going to celebrate. It's going to be record. Even though it's going to cost a little bit more, um, and you do see some changes at the gas pump, we're still going to celebrate. Okay. All right? Uh, 644, it's the Bill and Jessica Show. we got sports up next. Perfect. Here's a little Tekka, never left. Good morning. Hello.